Our Denver 7 weather action day continues this Tuesday evening as strong winds will impact the front range and really all of Colorado. We have seen some really powerful winds here across the state. Snow continues off and on for Colorado's high country. It's going to cool down but clear out on Wednesday with highs back only in the 40s. Some extremely strong wind gusts today. Over 100 miles per hour recorded at their peak over Breckenridge and Berthoud Pass and down near Georgetown. 65 mile per hour wind gusts and we'll continue to see some very powerful breezy conditions this evening. Evening. So weather alerts still in effect until at least 9 o'clock. High wind warnings, fire weather advisories, air quality warnings down south, and the highest fire danger with red flag warnings over the southeastern plains, which have been warm and dry. Snow will continue to fall through the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning. A winter weather advisory remains in effect for our northern Front Range Mountains and the I-70 corridor with additional amounts of 1 to 2 inches possible. But the winds will gradually calm down as we get to the end of the week. Do anticipate the chance for some gusty conditions for the next several days. So for tonight, 9 o'clock, mostly cloudy skies, 37, low 30s by 11, and overnight lows will be colder, falling to the upper 20s, low 30s here for the metro area, only in the teens and low 20s into many of our mountain towns. Tomorrow morning, we'll wake up to more sunshine by 9 o'clock, upper 30s. The winds will really kick up into the afternoon, especially into the foothills, and as you can see from our future cast through tomorrow, it'll be mostly sunny skies with those strong winds over the northeastern plains and really here for the metro area could again and see wind gusts reach about 40 miles per hour. Lighter snow will gradually taper off through the day tomorrow, but our highs are going to cool off. We'll only be in the mid to upper 40s. It's looking nice and calmer by the end of the week. I'll show you the seven day forecast still to come.